Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Homebook. In today's video, we are going to do complete chapter of living and non-living things. But before starting with this video, let me tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 3 and class 4 environmental science. We also have interesting quizzes on each chapter. You can find all of them on our channel Learning Notebook. You can also see a list of all such videos on our website. The link to our website is below in the description box. So let's start with the chapter of living and non-living things. We live in a beautiful world. When we look around, we see many things like birds, beautiful flowers, gardens, animals, people, buildings, and vehicles. Some of these things like animals, plants and humans have life and such things are called living things. On the other hand, things that do not have life are called non-living things. For example, table, books, umbrella, chair, vehicles, buildings, sun. They do not have life in them. So they are called non-living things. Students, we also have separate video on complete chapter of solar system for class 3 as well as for class 4. I am sure you would love to watch this video. The link to this video is below in the description box. Now let's learn about characteristics of living things. There are some characteristics of living things that differentiate them from non-living things. So let's learn about such characteristics of living things. Living things can move. Living things can grow. They need food and water to live. Living things can breathe. And living things can reproduce. While non-living things cannot move, they cannot grow, they do not need food and water, non-living things cannot breathe and they cannot reproduce. Now, let's learn more about first characteristic of living things, which is living things can move. Living things like animals and humans move from one place to another using their legs. The birds and insects use their wings to fly. These living things move to find food, shelter and also to protect themselves from their enemies. Though plants do not move from one place to another, but they show their movement in a different manner. Like some plants close their leaves on Touching.
while others like sunflower face towards the sun roots grow and move deep into soil for water so living things move but non living things do not move let's move to next characteristic that living things need food and water living things get energy and grow with the help of food they eat green plants prepare their own food with the help of water air and sunlight whereas humans and animals get their food from plants and other animals like we get fruits and vegetables from plants milk from animals like cows and buffaloes and eggs from hen but non living things do not need food now let's learn about next characteristic living things breathe all living things breathe to stay alive humans and animals breathe through their nose and lungs insects breathe through small pores present on their bodies fishes and tadpoles use gills to breathe and plants they breathe through tiny pores present on their leaves known as stomata but non living things do not breathe now next characteristic is living things feel and respond to changes around them living things feel the changes around them humans and animals have sense organs namely eyes nose ears tongue and skin to feel and respond students we have separate video to learn more about sense organs and external body parts we have more amazing videos to learn in detail about internal body parts for class 3 as well as for class 4 you will find the link to these videos below in the description box like animals and humans plants can also feel like the leaves of plant touch me not close if we touch them but non living things do not feel now the next characteristic of living things is living things reproduce reproduction is a process to produce babies of their own kind animals like hen lizards frogs and tortoise lay eggs babies hatch out of these eggs plants produce new plants from their parts and in humans 
women give birth to a baby but non living things do not reproduce next characteristic is living things grow all living things grow from young ones to adults like a chick grows into a hen a calf grows into a cow and a cub grows into a wolf plants also grow from a seed to a seedling which further grows into a plant and then a tree in human beings a baby grows into a child and a child grows into a man but non living things do not grow if you are enjoying watching videos on our channel then do like share and comment on our videos also do not forget to subscribe to our channel learning notebook now our next topic is man made and natural things things like air water soil animals plants and mountains exist naturally they are not made by man these things are called natural things some of the natural things are living things like trees birds humans and animals whereas other natural things like sun air water and mountains are non living things look at this natural beauty the snow covered mountains lakes trees are so beautiful but they are limited and cannot be replaced so we must protect these natural resources things that are man made and do not occur naturally are called man made things all man made things are non living for example table chair utensils mobile phone vehicles all these are man made things so students now i am sure you have understood everything about living and non living things please watch my other videos too and share my channel and my videos further thanks for watching